I'm gonna go over a famous and most common distance formula question. I see this often, and let's just get this started. The vertices of a triangle are located at these points. What is the perimeter of this triangle? Round to the nearest 10. Let's start off by plugging in these points, and I'm not gonna spend too much time explaining that. Hopefully you know how to do that. Negative two, negative one will be your X point. Two, five will be your Y and four three will be your z if you look at this triangle there are three line segments that we're gonna each find the distance for and after we do that then we can find the perimeter let's look at segment x y first that has the coordinate of negative two negative one and two five whenever i go over the distance formula i always have my students label stuff first that that way they don't get confused so that's gonna be my x one y one x two y Two. The second trick to the distance formula, I just have my students set it up right away by creating that square root symbol from the formula. And then I always tell them to write two parentheses squared with a subtraction in the middle, adding it to another one of those. And that comes straight from the formula. So why do I do this? Well, from here, all you have to worry about is plugging in the numbers. So what are you gonna put in this first slot? You usually have to look at your X2 number and that's what the formula says. So you're going to pop in a 2 in there. And here's exactly why I make my students write these minus signs right away. Because sometimes they forget. You're going to get one of these double negatives going on. Because x1 is negative 2. So that first minus comes from the formula. The second negative comes from the coordinate. Sometimes that happens. Now we move on to the second set of parentheses. And that's going to be 5. It's my y2 number. And another double negative. Negative 1. From here we just got to simplify. That's going to turn into. 4 squared and 5 minus negative 1 turns into 6 squared simplifying further 4 squared is 16 plus 36 and if you square root that, that is the same thing as the square root of 52, which is close to 7.2. The distance of XY, that line segment, is going to be 7.2. So take a wild guess how many times we're going to have to do this. Well, perimeter is the distance around, so we're going to have to do this two more times. Now we got to do YZ, and I'm going to just go through that a little faster. First, label stuff. Just trust me on that. X1, Y1, X1 x2 y2 second look at the formula let's set this up draw two sets of parentheses with a minus sign in the middle and i'm going to add it to another one of those and from here all we have to worry about are putting in the numbers it's going to be four and two and the other one is going to be three and five you can actually just type all of this in the calculator or do it in your head because four minus two is two and two squared is going to equal four again i'm just going through this faster show you a little shortcut here and there uh, 3 minus 5 is negative 2 and negative 2 squared remember that anything squared is going to be a positive result that's going to be 4 now you got to find the square root of 4 plus 4 which is square root of 8 and that's going to round off to 2.8 what a pain and that's probably why your teachers chose this problem the last part we got to find is the distance between x z just to be repetitive make sure you label stuff first your teachers like it when you show your work set up the formula and then plug in the numbers that turns into six squared plus four squared and simplifying that further you get square root of 36 plus 16 which equals the square root of 52 and that is around 7.2 to answer this question to find the perimeter we just have to add up the distance of all three line segments which was x y y z and x z Z. That's going to be 7.2 plus 2.8 plus 7.2. Finally, we get our answer. That's going to equal to around 17.2. I guarantee that your teacher is going to pick this problem when you guys are doing the distance formula, but hopefully that helped. And if it did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.